Human eyes are the optical instruments of our body. They can help us to focus on objects, perceive depths, and distinguish colors. How do our eyes function and carry out all these amazing things? The best way to understand the function of the eye is to compare it to a camera. In this lesson, you will learn the function of the various parts of the eye using the camera as an analogy. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the structure and function of various parts of the eye using a camera as an analogy. Have you ever used a manual camera before? A camera captures images by focusing on an object and allowing specific amounts of light to pass through the lens to create an image on film. Our eyes function in the same way. Figure shows the various parts of a camera. Click at the various parts of the camera to know its name. In the camera, the hole that allows light to pass through is called the aperture and the size of the aperture is controlled by the diaphragm. How is this achieved in the human eye? The function of our eyes is to enable us to see the objects in our surroundings at variable distances and under different conditions of light. This function is achieved by a complex arrangement of structures in the eye. Click on the various parts of the eye to know its name. The lens is used to make focusing adjustment and this process is called accommodation. Instead, it is flexible and its shape is changed by the ring of ciliary muscles around it. When light enters the eye, it passes through the cornea where two-thirds of the focus is achieved. The light then passes through the pupil where the iris adjusts the amount of light that is allowed to enter. The remaining one-third of focus is then achieved when the light passes through the lens. The lens focuses the light on the retina where an inverted and diminished image is formed. Which part of the camera is similar in function to the iris, the pupil or the retina in the eye? Click the answer button to find out. How does the light from the distant object or from the near object is focused in the camera? In the camera, focusing is done by changing the position of the lens further away from or towards the film. Click on the camera to view how focusing is done for distant objects. Now, let's find out how focusing is done by near objects.
The diagram shows the structure of an eye and a camera. Drag and drop the appropriate labels into the empty box and click the check button to check your answer. Your answer is correct. Match the following to show the analogy of the structure and function of the eye with the camera. Draw a line from list A to list B. Your answer is correct. Click on the correct answer. The eye focuses images onto the retina by changing the thickness of the A. Iris B. Lens C. Cornea D. Ciliary muscles Your answer is correct. The figure shows the structure of the human eye. What is the function of the part labelled X? A. Maintains the shape of the eye. B. Focuses light rays onto the retina. C. Changes the thickness of the eye lens. D. Controls the amount of light entering the eye. Your answer is correct. Which part of the eye has similar function as the film in a camera? A. Iris B. Lens C. Retina D. Cornea Your answer is correct. What will happen to the eye when an observer looks at a distant object? A. The ciliary muscles relax. B. The pupil becomes smaller. C. The ciliary muscles contract. D. The eye lens becomes thicker. Your answer is correct. The figure shows the structure of a camera. Which part of the camera has similar function as the pupil in a human eye? A. Film B. Shutter C. Aperture D. Diaphragm Your answer is correct. These are the similarities of the structure and function between the human eye and a camera. The human eye uses eye lens to focus an image while the camera uses camera lens. The eye uses retina as a light sensitive layer for image to be formed whereby camera uses a film. To control amount of light, an eye uses pupils and the camera uses an aperture. The human eye uses iris to control the size of the aperture while the camera uses diaphragm. Observe the picture. Have you used this equipment before? Click the info button to learn more.
An overhead projector is a display system that is used to display images to an audience. They consist of a large box containing a very bright lamp and a fan to cool it, on top of which is a large lens that focuses the light. Above the box, on a long arm, is a mirror that redirects the light forward. Transparencies are placed on top of the lens for display. The light from the lamp travels through the transparency, where it is shown forward onto the screen. The mirror allows both the presenter and the audience to see the image at the same time.